हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द टीचिंग्स ऑफ बुद्धा बुद्धा नेवर क्लेम्ड दैट ही इज गॉड ही वॉज अ प्रैक्टिकल रिफॉर्मर हु वॉज ओनली कंसर्न विथ हाउ ऑल द पीपल लिविंग ऑन अर्थ कैन बी हैप्पी एंड फॉर दिस पर्पज ही गेव फोर नोबल ट्रुथ्स He said that there is sorrow everywhere in the world and the main reason for this sorrow is desire. If a person can conquer these desires then he can get rid of these sorrows and can be happy forever. And the path shown by him to conquer the desire is called eightfold path and these four noble truths were called arya satya. And these four arya satya are dukh that is sorrow, samuday that is community, nirodh that is protection and marg that is path and because this path is eight fold path that is why it is called ashtang marg but there is a question here and that question is is there really suffering everywhere in the world because if you ask me if i am sad i will say no not at all and i am not sad because i have what i want if i didn't i would probably be sad and i can also say the same thing that if i don't get what i want i will be sad so it can be taken to mean that at the moment everyone is sad it is not so but anyone can be sad at any time if they do not get what they want that is everyone has some or the other desires and if those desires are not fulfilled then you become sad and because your happiness is dependent on an external thing which is not in your control then in the eyes of buddha you are not a happy person then this is the reason why buddha has described the world as full of sorrows and to remove these sorrows we need to conquer our desires and the way to conquer desires is ashtang marg so let us understand this ashtang marg You might remember that in the previous video we said that after attaining enlightenment Buddha gave his first sermon in Sarnath that is his first religious talk which is called Dharma Chakra Parivartan and we said that Dharma Chakra Parivartan is represented by eight spoke wheel this eight spoke wheel basically represents eight fold path and in this eight fold path there are total eight steps right observation right determination right speech right action right livelihood right effort right mindfulness and right concentration here right observation means that you should observe and realize that there is sorrow everywhere in the world and the reason of these sorrows is desire and greed when you realize that the world is full of sorrows then you move towards the next step which is the right determination that is with full determination you decide that you will not only remove your sorrows but will also take other people along with you on this path after that the third step of this eightfold path is right speech this means you will practice truthfulness and be kind to others the next step is right action here buddha taught the lesson of non violence and said that we should avoid animal killing and lead an honest and peaceful life next is right livelihood here buddha has said that you should live a life that does not harm anyone and you should earn your livelihood by pure and honest means next is right effort in this step buddha has asked to cultivate self control and at the same time has told that evil thoughts can be avoided by mental exercise After this the seventh step in this eightfold path is right mindfulness here buddha has told that the human body is made of a nucleus substance which always keeps on changing and that is why nothing is permanent not even the soul in this step we have to observe this thing while being mindful and the last step of this eightfold path is right concentration or right meditation Buddha has said that by right meditation the evils created due to attachments and bonds of body and mind can be removed so in this eightfold path right observation and right determination is called pragya skanda it is related to wisdom after that right speech right action and right livelihood is called shil skanda and it is related to morality and right effort right mindfulness and right concentration is called samadhi skanda and this one is related to concentration
Now here you can observe one more thing that in eight fold path the word right has been used in every step and the reason behind using this word is that buddha is pointing towards a balanced approach he wants to make people understand that when these people are following the eight fold path they have to follow a middle path where they neither indulge in luxury nor follow excessive austerity the middle path itself describes the character of the noble eight fold path let us now see what the buddha's thoughts were about the concepts that already existed during buddha's lifetime for example what were buddha's thoughts about god here buddha neither accepted nor rejected the existence of god after that if we talk about immortality of the soul what did buddha used to think about it then buddha never recognized the existence of soul next is caste system so buddha was against caste system and any kind of social distinction he opened the doors of his order for everyone which we also call sang people of every caste could come here and at the same time both men and women could join this sang so let us now see what buddha believed about the vedas so buddha completely rejected the authority of vedas so these were the details of buddha's teachings in the next video we will discuss about buddha's sang and the spread of buddhism you can download pdf of this video from bookstava app to understand indian history and indian polity in detail do follow bookstava playlist link is given in the description box thank you for watching bookstava